Hello, my love. Welcome back to the Rouse podcast for another episode. And if you're new around here, welcome. I'm your host, Samantha Pop. And today we're talking about how therapy should really become a norm and how the whole stigma around going to therapy should literally just go fucking die. Let's get into it. Warning, the following presentation is intended for mature audiences. It includes stigma topics like sex, addictions, mental illness, adult dialogue, and strong language. Viewer discretion is advised. If you're new around here, then you'll find out today that I have been to therapy many times. I have seen my one psychologist for almost two years now, and it has been a transformational experience for me to go to therapy. So I encourage everyone that hasn't been to therapy to experience it with someone that you feel comfortable talking to, because my own experience has been incredible with it. So that's what I'm going to talk to you about today. I had recently left my abusive partner two years ago at the end of March, and I was in really rough shape. There was a lot that I hadn't dealt with from previous relationships, childhood trauma, and many forms of abuse that I had just experienced from my most recent relationship that I'd gotten out of. I really had no idea what to do. This was a point where I had just moved back in with my parents. I was a mess psychologically and emotionally. I heard about this online therapy called Talkspace. So I looked into BetterHelp and Talkspace, which are two platforms that you can talk to a licensed psychologist on. And I ended up going with Talkspace. Through my experience with my psychologist, she was incredible at being very non-judgmental about everything that I talked to her about, which was very welcoming for me. And it made me feel very comfortable to talk to her. I never wanted to feel judged for any of my decisions, my past things that I went through. So it was really incredible for her to just listen and take in all the information and for me to not get any judgment back, which is really important, I think, in any therapy client relationship and also in a coaching client relationship as well, which is something that I never do with any of my clients because I've been on the receiving end of feeling judged. I never want to make any of my clients feel like they're judged for any choices that they've made or anything that they've experienced because I've been on that receiving end and, you know, it made me feel I was less than, I was inferior and embarrassed because they judged me on something like that, that I therefore didn't want to share anything with them. And it was a very difficult and awkward thing to experience. So with my psychologist, there were video calls that we'd had and I had been crying my eyes out, letting out everything that I had been feeling and thinking. And I had so many breakthroughs with her that helped me heal from so much trauma and past experiences that were really holding me back. And through this therapy, it has led to so many breakthroughs of my own, even without my psychologist, to figure out, oh, hey, you know, I was using alcohol and smoking as a crutch for these problems. And because I don't want to, you know, use those as a crutch anymore to deal and cope with these feelings and try and suppress them, you know, I don't drink anymore. I don't smoke anymore. I'm sober from drinking and smoking because I don't want to use those anymore. And that was a personal choice that I made. So I'm almost two years sober from smoking and I will have my one year anniversary from being sober from drinking at the end of November, which is you know, even my birthday month, which is a very fascinating thing that I chose in the month of my birthday to not drink anymore. And I was like, you know what, this is a crutch. I really don't want this anymore. And I don't need alcohol anymore. It's becoming a problem for me to try and cope with these issues that isn't actually getting dealt with. So therapy has been this incredible experience for me to heal from past things and to even take what I have learned from her and coping mechanisms to take that into things that come up currently with me so I can figure out, hey, why why is this coming up? Why am I feeling this way? What's the underlying issue? And through therapy myself, it has made me become an even better coach to all of my clients. So not only can I serve myself better and to help myself, which I do a lot of self-coaching along with, you know, my one-on-one coach that I have as well, but I'm now able to help my current clients and future clients even better because of the therapy that I went to. So not only was I able to help myself, but I'm 
also able to help people in my life that I care about, my clients, friends, and family members be a better person, a coach in all those aspects. If you're a mom and you've never been to therapy, it is truly an experience that I really encourage you to do because if you have been passed down through generations, some generational trauma, and you haven't healed through that, you will continue to pass that down to your children until someone breaks that pattern and stops it. And then that generational trauma cannot continue in future generations. So for example, my one grandfather was an alcoholic that was technically passed down through my dad and then to me. And my dad never had a problem with alcohol, but I had a problem with alcohol. So I use it as a crutch, as I talked about earlier, to try and deal with my problems and to suppress things to make me forget about things, lots of abuse that I endured. And the moment that I recognized that that was a problem and I had to stop drinking, that therefore was for me to be able to stop this generational trauma and this issue so that I don't pass that down onto my kids. Even if my kids develop their own issue with alcohol, I can help them through that because I did that myself and I stopped that in myself from letting alcohol continue to be this crutch for me and cause more problems in my life rather than just letting my alcoholism take control of my life and getting pregnant, having a kid and, you know, transferring that onto them. It's that much harder to try to heal and fix that generational trauma when you haven't done it yourself. So as much as people will talk and say that therapy is this thing where you go where you're broken and, you know, you need to be fixed, it's actually so beautiful that you can fall apart and then put yourself back together. And I can't remember which culture this is, but when a bowl or vase would break, these people from this culture would take gold to put it back together like this solution that has gold in it. The product was, yeah, there were these like cracks or lines with gold in it, but actually it became so much more beautiful after that. And that's the way that I love to think about it because I've been broken so many times from many different forms of abuse. And I actually was so broken after my last abusive relationship. And I admitted to myself, like, I'm broken. Like, I need to, you know, heal myself. And there's nothing wrong with that. I don't believe we need to fix ourselves. But you do need to heal when you are broken. And it's okay to be broken after a breakup, to be broken from abuse, from an ex-partner. But you do need to heal yourself. And therapy can be this incredible resource for you to put yourself back together as this beautiful vase with these lines of gold in it. And you are so much more beautiful now. So I really encourage you to look at it that way. Just because you are broken does not mean that you cannot heal yourself and live a better life. I have done it myself. I have healed from so much trauma in my life and from past lives. It's so worth it. You are worth it. You are worth going to therapy for. Therapy is worth it. And you deserve to be happy to heal from your trauma, to heal from anything that broke you. And if you're looking for some clarity in your life, in your relationship, in your career right now, I encourage you to come to my Facebook group. It's called Awaken Your Inner Goddess right on Facebook. It's free to join. And I do free personal card pulls every Thursday night at 5 p.m. Mountain Time for everyone inside of my community that requests a card pull. So if you're needing clarity right now, you want some guidance, or you're needing a message right now from your higher self, which is your inner goddess, then please come join my free Facebook community, Awaken Your Inner Goddess. I love you so much, and I will see you in the next episode.